All right. Hey guys, welcome back to our special October segment of Spook Nights. Yeah, Spook, Spook Nights. Nights. The spookiness is all over the place, and it's up to Alan Wake to figure out what's going on. So we're here tonight with me, Griffin. I'm Magma, and we're here to play Alan Wake. Now we've gone over this before, but Alan Wake is a horror game set in the middle of like rural Washington. I think we finally figured out. Yeah, somewhere in it's the middle of some cabin like town, Bright Falls. So Alan Wake is here to save the day. Yep, and but three years ago, he wasn't saving much of anything. Other than money on drugs. Well, I mean, he was using discount money to buy them shit groceries that he could barely carry with his awkward monkey hands. But... Yeah, but at least he could afford a razor. Yeah, it's true. At least he's, like, clean-shaven-ish. Yeah, it's like, oh, welcome back, Cody. And then demon eyes! Worst I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, God. I will, I will, yeah, I will never get tired of this, this fucking, like, horrid shit lighting. Yes. I know. You don't need to gesture me to continue. I can make I can make side comment. Hey, don't worry, up. we got this. This is gonna be a long <laughs> Yeah, 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 <laughs> whatever. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. Guess you're gonna need I'll that coffee, huh? You're gonna need that coffee that I told you to fucking buy? That you made me buy in his goddamn groceries, huh? Yeah, yeah, your coffee's in your fucking groceries, you bitch. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so mean to her. Oh, minus the fact that, you know, three years from now she's gonna drag me to a fucking mountain. And then I'll have to save her and not, you know, be murdered by ghosts. And the best part was is you didn't even want to go on vacation. No, you didn't want to write on vacation. Yeah, she, she... And she buys you a typewriter, which starts this whole goddamn yeah. mess. Yeah, thought it'd be fucking cute. It's not cute. It's no pretty. Kidding. Maybe a change of scenery will help you write. Maybe I wanted some relaxation. A change of scenery, they said. Maybe it'll help you relax, they said. Yeah, now my car is totaled, and I'm pissed, and, and my wife is missing... And some awkward chick at a funeral is trying to, like, fucking kill me. And damn it, Barry, they're gonna kill her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll yeah, wait a that. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't spoil shit. They'll, they'll find out. <laughs> Speaking of Barry, lights go out. You have summoned me. Now, last episode, I did most of the playing. Uh, we have decided amongst ourselves that... During the daytime segments, I wouldn't have to touch the controller. Yes, I will be the piss poor babby who will play daytime scenes because I suck at shooting and I'm I am El Jump Scare spoopiest. So fuck that, and I'm not gonna put myself through that. I will much rather uh, tend to my wife and shine bright lights in her face. Yeah, that's really fucking rude. You can't focus it on her. Yeah, I noticed. It just I was really like, spooked oh. me. I'm really spooked. Don't worry. Uh, we'll just break out the candles. Yeah, you know, we're gonna bust out the love candles. Yeah, Time for it's awkward it's character model canoodling. God. No, this is this is by far like. Oh yeah, like her her shirt's clipping into her neck. And then her eyes are like soulless as fuck, and she looks she's gonna drain his writer soul right out of his body. Like, give me your ideas, I, Alan. I mean, it's like it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't clearly focused on her face. Yeah. Clipping right through it. And it's like they tried to give her pores, too, which is weird. It's very weird, and I don't appreciate any of it. Her skin must be flawless like an angel. And, and then also, like, I'm probably going to make this complaint throughout the entire, entire LP, but just the horrible, like, mouth movements and, the, and like, the, 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 like, oh, they're so awkward. And this is a game we like, folks. Yeah. And now they're gonna make out. Mm, yeah, robot sex. <laughs> That's what I'm about. God. Yeah, I see it. I don't know what did it, and I don't care. But, um. Oh, well, now someone's shining a flashlight in your face, Ridley. That's divine retribution. Thank you, fisherman. Alright, Cotton Hill. How are you feeling? Like I just woke up from my nightmare? I'm okay. Pretty much. How are you feeling? Like lying to your face, old man. Like I'm a creepy love child of Zach Braff and Christian Bale. Yeah. I was about to say Christian Slater. Christian Braff. Zach Christian again Bale Braff. I don't know what Christian again came from, but I, I'm gonna stick to it. He's a board again? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Got some big ass fish. All right. So let's see. Uh, I gotta. I gotta, gotta, I gotta talk to Sarah. And these wonderful door opening mechanics. Yeah, just meh. Uh. 
Yeah. He opens doors like Ezio pulls, oh, it pushes people out of the way. He does. Okay, so like we've, so I have no problem admitting this right now. So we tried to record this episode the last time, and we completely botched it by just being forgetful idiots. Um, and the last time we recorded, I just remember looking at this missing poster, and from a distance, it fucking looks like a goddamn raccoon. I don't care what you fuckers think. Someone's pet raccoon, Scrabby. Yeah, it's a goddamn pet raccoon. And have you seen this man? No name, nothing. And he just disappeared, and he has a knack for winning contests. Like, how do you... How is that even an identifier? Like, oh yeah, he looks like he wins a lot of contests. Are you missing? Hmm. Like, Let's <laughs> play Heads Up 7-Up and see if you win. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's him, officer! I was, I was gonna say, it's like, oh yeah, let me just, you know, let me go to a hot dog eating contest and talk to a dude and see how he does. Nah, man, Heads Up 7-Up where it's at. Yeah, okay, you can't. You gotta go to the end of the other hall. You were in the right hallway. I was, I'm just looking for shit. Isn't there a manuscript page in there? I thought there was. That's why I'm Turn around. I'm like... Turn. Yep, there it is. On the floor. See, that's why I came in here. Uh, as a reminder, uh, as you progress through the game, there's certain collectibles. One of those collectibles is a thermos, which there will be a count of in the lower corner. There is the count. We're currently at five. Um, I didn't know where I we believe. were. I'm, I'm remembering off of me editing everything. So yeah. I'm pretty sure we're at five. I don't do the editing. And the other is the manuscripts. Which, unfortunately, we're not going to go over just because they take a lot of time to sit through. Maybe we'll make, like, a side video or something. I don't know. If you um, want to see it, you know, leave comments. But the actual manuscript pages themselves tell the story, the backstory of the game as it's happening and generally before it happens. So as Alan starts going through these, he starts realizing, okay, well, I can use these to see the future or what's about to happen. So, Alan is slowly realizing his writing Hello? affects everything. Alan, and that's a quick refresher Alan, slash slight spoiler that you'll find shortly. Um, which is actually the main premise for this level. Alright, anyways. Yeah, I don't need to read those. I don't need to read those. I know my raccoon is missing. Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I was already in here. This is uh, where the doctor was... Making yeah. me look at shit. Can't come in. Yeah, tell me about cockroaches or some shit. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Alright, cool. Why do they have, like, their access to the outside world right next to their like holding the cells? Yeah, no, it seems really bad. Hey, bro. You know how trusting this town has to be? Hey, you know, in case those cell doors open, could you go through the front so we can see you leave? That's, do you know what that reminds me of? Um, the Family Guy bit about Canadian prisons. Like, hey, I'm gonna go step out. Just be back before bedtime. <laughs> Okie dokes. Hey, yeah, what type of car is that? That's a good question. In a game so product placement as this, it's a board. From Washington. I think that's how we knew, as we looked at another license plate. Yeah, like, uh, it also ev eventually gets mentioned. Plates. Yeah, everything's got Washington plates. So either the ambulance is from out of town or way out of town. Yeah. All right. So now, we gotta focus. Oh yeah, there's a truck back there. All right. Let's. Got a hibbity wobble. I I love how he just kind of like float phases that, like on this side. Just like meh. You can't ever really see his feet, which is great for these kick mechanics. Because you'll, as you'll notice, I'm, I want to like, I want to step outside the boundary of the kick prompt just for the sake of seeing how effective it is. Like, I really want to see this. Okay, like, I'm sorry, I'm doing the science. Okay, so look at the amount of space in between me and that wall. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm glad he walked forward. I'm glad he walked forward for it. But even still, like, like just the tip, just the tippy tips of his boots. I don't know why he uses a gun. His foot is apparently super destructive. Yeah, his, he's got, like, instant murder foot. Barry? Hey, yeah, fuck, it's my puppy assistant. Oh, wait, that's right, manuscript. I knew it was right here. Fuck, I can't pick it up while I'm on the phone. Yes. Well, this is true. Just gonna have to sit here. God, it's like Gears of War all over again. Yeah. What? There we go. Did you see how he put his phone in his pocket? Yeah. What a weirdo. Jeez. 
Yeah, yeah. Power jumps. God. He jumps like he's doing hurdles. It, yeah, it really. It's, just it's like, been oh, bugging yeah. me. I'm trying to figure out, like, I, like, he jumps like something, and that was it. Eh. Yeah. How he's are they a... not, like, charging out here? Because she can he's see you through the fucking weird. window. Yeah, it's like, there's something wrong with that wake guy. He's, he's pretending he's running a 100-meter dash. But there's no dash to run. <laughs> Nah, I'm not really interested. Oh wait, look, more shitty character light modeling. Yep. Demon Cain. Demon Wake. Alright. Hmm. Time to leave this fucking hellhole. Or can I? God damn it. Are you feeling any better, Mr. I think that that, that like that cutscene should have triggered way sooner than trying to walk out the front door. Especially well, if they're just gonna pull me back in. Right? Well, one of the side notes actually that we missed last recording it actually showed you stepping outside and opening the door then it cut to that yeah which is my point is it's like i'm literally pushing the door open and then it cuts to me walking up and then here's this awkward what the fuck is going on with the window in the background i don't know Shh, don't worry just don't do your job excuse me while i channel my inner christian bale bam where is she but then the best character in the game shows up, high waters and all. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. <laughs> and Barry Wheeler. <laughs> God. I love it. I, just, I love everything about this dude. He's such a dick. No harm done. No harm done. I'm not going to press charges because then legal affairs would kick in and people would have to inspect my murder clinic. <laughs> We in no way endorse the use of murder clinics. It's true. I, honestly, I've always felt that that's the reason why, like, bad guys or characters of, like, questionable moral input, um, like, are like, yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna file charges, because they know immediately. Like, I'm gonna file charges, and then my ass is gonna be under investigation for, like, ever. So there's no point in doing it. Don't let the police anywhere near your stuff, even if it's the clean stuff. Because more often than not, bad guys always do something dirty around. Or else Hollywood wouldn't work. Yeah, like like imagining a cop coming in. It's like, yeah, take a look at my office. You, yeah, everything should be in order. And then they're just cleaning, and all of a sudden they have that look in their face. Like they've just discovered something. And you're just like, what? What's wrong? And the officer's like, yeah, I found this criminal sock under your <laughs> desk. Can you explain this to me? Oh, well, what I love is the, the suddenly jumping from behind someone's like, oh, no, I wasn't at your computer with this flash drive, like, completely not inconspicuously tossed in my pocket worst worst scenario ever like it's not a like, I, I don't know if i want to call that a trope it is okay. and my personal favorite was in yeah, yeah, one yeah of, i guess it is one of the uh iron man movies what someone's at his computer and the screen is completely black when she sits down yeah and when she gets up she presses a button it goes straight to see screensaver yeah and that like okay but there was no screensaver before yeah Walk to with Charlie. The skeleton of a Colombian mammoth, Mammothus columbi. The specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pit in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998, where the Colombian mammoth became Washington State Fossil. When? When the Colombian mammoth? What did I say? Where? Oh. Well, fuck him. Uh, named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. I think this is when we figured out that this took place in Washington. Yeah. That was this entry. Just yeah. listen to yourself. I am listening to myself. I am listening to myself. They're gonna kill her! I'm gonna go outside and talk to the dog lover. Yeah, I was trying to remember if there was anything in here that we could grab, but I think there isn't. The Not man, until later. The man's getting ready to hunt him some no. doge. Look, yes, Barry, get him so doge. Weak, and someone's got Alice. I like the way he's having this argument where he's, like, here. barely looking over his shoulder and, like, ambiguously waving his arm like a Muppet. Hey, bro. I hear you rent the cabins. I have a murder mystery I need to borrow. And that green and Alan's fucking hair. Yeah, his weird fucking color textures. Alright, let's get those. Oh, hey there. Do, do, do. Hey, bear. Not the dog, the bear. Alright, now I'm gonna sign the shit. Yeah, Alright, got myself me. Got myself me a cabin. Yeah. 
All right, now we need business. Now we can solve this murder mystery, Barry. Barry and Allen at it again. Allen and Barry. And here are the keys. Okay, right. you're all set, Mr. Wake. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Thanks. Awkwardly swipe these keys look. into my magical portal oh, hand and get the figgy fuck out of here. Wouldn't you want a magical portal hand? I would. Okay, so you know what I just realized? Now, you don't really know much about JoJo, but I will explain it to you fucking anyways. So, in part four of JoJo, there's a uh, character named Okuyasu, and his stand... Oh, wait, hold on. Our favorite line. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. Me! This is not <laughs> just... a goddamn debate, <laughs> So shitty. Anyways, what I was going to say is, um, there's a character named Okuyasu, and his stand is called The Hand, and its ability... Is whatever it swipes at with its right hand is removed from existence. Okay. So it just removes space. So if you look at the way Alan like picked up those keys, he just kind of like swiped his hands across them, and then they were fucking gone. And not even Okuyasu knows where shit goes when he attacks it with the hand. Clearly, Alan Wake is a stand user, and that's why they're trying to kill him. I've solved the mystery, Griffin. His stand is the writer. His stand is the writer. His ability to write shit that gets him murdered. And also steal stuff with his magical hand. He's got two stands. This is a motherfucking super JoJo. There we go. Alan Joestar. I think there's a few things you need to do. Or is it that door? Yeah, it's that door. Alright. So we are off to Lover's Peak. We gotta find Alice. Sorry, I was just spent my time playing a video game where the sprint button is the exact opposite side of the controller. There you go. And grabbing things does not be. And jumping like an old man is, you know, beneficial to the uh, general progression of the game. So I, I, I tried picking up the fuel can. Take a wild guess at what game I've been playing, audience. <laughs>